This workshop in the northwestern Chinese city of Goma specializes in traditional Tibetan handicrafts. Items made of pulu, a special kind of woolen fabric with a history of more than 2,000 years, and many stones, a popular prayer amulet among Tibetans, are some of the popular products here. San Muji, a relocated herdsman, founded the cooperative in 2015 after migrating down from the Qinghai Tibetan Plateau. After moving here, I found our traditional culture was gradually disappearing. I just want to preserve what we had in the pastures and pass it on through this handicraft cooperative. San Muji used to live in a small town close to the source of the Yangtze River, the longest in China, at an altitude higher than 4,700 meters. In 2004, about 130 families were relocated, so the government could begin its ecological protection program in the area. Though it was hard to bid farewell to their nomadic life, the herders are deeply impressed by the conveniences that accompany their new modern lifestyles. Take drinking water for example. In the past, we had to get water from nearby rivers. In winter, we could only get ice and wait for it to melt. Now, all we need to do is just turn on the tap. Starting at the beginning of the 21st century, when China started its protection campaign in Xinjiang Yuan, a region where three great rivers, the Yangtze, Yellow, and Lanzang originate, tens of thousands of families who lived on the vast pastures have been resettled. But for those who moved, it doesn't mean they've cut all ties with their hometowns. This region is where the relocated residents used to live, quite close to the source of the Yangtze River. The hundreds of miles away, their bond with this pure land is still very close. San Muji and her fellow villagers come back regularly, patrolling the mountains and cleaning trash from the pastures together with those still living on the plateau. There was trash all around before, including food packages and bottles, as largely being reduced thanks to our work. We live at the source of the river. If we don't protect the area well, people living downstream won't be drinking safe water. As the sales numbers continue to grow, San Muji plans to expand her workshop, a move expected to benefit more locals. But her greatest wish is that her hometown will become more beautiful, thanks to her efforts and anyone willing to lend a hand. Yang Jinghao, CGTN, Qinghai Province.